hello online viewers in this lecture video we will be talking about probability what is uh, probability how we can mathematically define probability and what is the gist behind uh, gist behind probability but before talking about probability we will be talking about terms used in probability so what are the various terms used in probability the various terms used in probability are the random experiment sample space trial events but first we will be talking about random experiments so what are random experiments random experiments are simply those type of experiment experiments the outcome of which can be predicted in advance so we have the example of random experiment as tossing of coin, throwing of dice, occurrence of accidents, disintegration of radioactive nuclei, and determine the velocity of asteroid. For instance, for the case of tossing of a, of a coin, we can have the outcome of either head or tail. Similarly, for the similarly for the throwing of dice, we can have the outcome as one, two, three, up to six. But we cannot, uh, but we cannot exactly predict its uh, predict its outcome. Hence, they come under the hence they, they and, and hence they come under random experiments. But why? But why are we learning random experiment under probability? Although the outcome of an random experiment cannot be predicted in advance mathematically we can approach mathematically we can approach the outcome of random experiments or mathematically or, or mathematically we can we can predict its a uh, predict its uh, predict its outcome such and mathematical approach of determining the outcome of random experiment is called as probability so simply the pro so simply what so simply what we'll be doing on our probability is we, we will find a mathematical approach or a mathematical way to, de to determine the outcome of a random experiment whose outcome cannot be uh, can cannot be predicted normally or in a Easy, uh, or in easy or in easy way so uh, so to give an example of uh, so to give an example of uh, random experiment and probability so uh, so as we have learned v equals to u plus at so in this case if we have to, if we have to determine the final velocity of a final velocity of a car final final velocity of a car and if we know the initial velocity and we, and we know the expression and and we know the time at time uh, and we know the time at which we have to determine the final velocity using this formula we can uh, using this formula we can determine the final velocity this is the mathematical this is the mathematical approach of finding uh, finding the final vel final final velocity determining the final velocity but uh, if we had to determine the velocity of a human body of a human walking on the road or of an asteroid it is impossible uh, it, it is impossible because uh, because they do not follow a fixed pattern or a because they do not follow a fixed uh, fixed pattern in such cases uh, in, in such case probability is used the uh, in, in such case probability is used and its uh, outcome can be predicted so the gist behind probability is using a mathematical approach to find the outcome of uh, outcome of an experiment whose uh, outcome can cannot be predicted in advance in a uh, advanced in a in an easy way next we have sample space so what is a uh, sample space so the definition of sample space is that the collection of all possible outcomes of a random experiment in the form of set is called sample space and it is denoted as omega and it is uh, and it is uh, denoted as uh, omega so uh, so uh, so to give the example of sample space uh, so we have an random experiment of tossing a coin uh, so uh, so in a random experiment of tossing a coin we might not um, we may not be able to uh, tell the outcome of it, uh, out outcome of it exactly. But what we know is, for the uh, for the random experiment of tossing a coin, the outcome can be either head or tail. So it can be either head or tail. And what we have basically done is, we have in included or uh, listed all the possible outcomes, which can be either head or uh, tail, in an cor in an in an curly bracket on the form of a set. And this uh, and and uh, this set of all the possible outcomes is called as sample space. So simply all the simply the, simply the so simply collection of all the possible outcomes in the form of set is called is called as sample space and we have n uh, n omega equals to two similarly for a tossing of two or uh, tossing of two coins in this case also we might not did we we, we might not say what uh, what exactly will be the outcome of this uh, random experiment but what we know is uh, the uh, the possible outcomes are, are are either head 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 tail tail head or tail tail so uh, tail tail so we have so basically sample space is enlisting or enlisting all the possible outcomes in in uh, in quarterly bracket in the form of set so here and sigma equals to four so next we have trial so what is a trial is a uh, trial is simply carrying a random experiment for a time is called as trial so uh, so tossing of a so uh, so the random experiment of tossing a coin is called as trial or random a random experiment of tossing of two two coins is called as trial so simply trial means carrying out a random experiment for a single time or for a for a required number of time next we have is events so what is event an event associated with a random experiment can be defined as the subset of sample space with which any study is concerned 
so event is simply the subset of sample uh, subset of sample space uh, with which any study is concerned or will be looking at a particular subset or a particular uh, section of our sample space uh, sample space it is and it is denoted by capital letters so uh, so so for our uh, so as you can see here for our uh, random experiment of tossing of uh, two coins uh, tossing of two coins we have the sample space of either head 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 tail tail head or tail head what if we uh, what if we focus on a particular uh, particular section or a a particular section or a particular event or a particular uh, or a or a particular outcome it is called as uh, it is uh, it is called as an event so let's say if i focus on the uh, focus on the outcome of getting head head in both the uh, head head and head in both the in both of the tossing then it is called as event then it, then, it, then it is called as event so simply let a be the event of so for the example of events in tossing of two coins let a be the event of getting face on both sides then a equals to head head or tail tail so simply so uh, so as you can see here uh, in tossing of two coins we have four uh, we have four outcomes or the number of sample space is a, a sample space is four but for the case of event we'll be focusing on uh, focusing or uh, focusing on a certain outcome or uh, focusing on certain outcomes outcome or outcomes or, or on the subset of uh, subset of sample space so so in this case of tossing of two coins we have focused on the subset or the condition of getting faced on both sides and the uh, and the outcomes are head head and tail 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 so this is simply the event uh, simply and so this is simply defined as the event so next will be so now in the next portion now we'll be defining probability so what is a uh, probability so so definition of prob so the definition of probability is let a be an event defined in sample space omega of a random experiment then probability of event a is defined as pa and it, and uh, pa and it, and it is mathematically defined as pa equals to na divided by n sigma so basically the probability of occurrence of event a is uh, equals to na divided by n uh, n omega where na is the number or uh, is the is the number of uh, possible outcomes or the number of uh, number of possible outcomes of occurrence of a divided by total number number of occurrence of the uh, total number of occurrence of the event or total possible outcomes so if we had to if so if we had to define probability simply probability of occurrence of event uh, a is probability of uh, uh, probability or the total uh, of event a divided by total number of possible outcomes next we'll be talking about the nodes related with probability so firstly first we have uh, so uh, so according to our first note it says that probability lies between 0 and 1 so the uh, so the first and foremost uh, foremost rule of probability is the probability can uh, probability can lie uh, lie only between can lie uh, can lie only between 0 and 1 one now uh, one uh, one being that the event will uh, event is uh, uh, event will occur at any cost and zero being that the event will not occur at uh, occur at all so next we have p omega equals to one that means the pr probability of occurrence of uh, sample space p omega is uh, simply is uh, is simply one next we have p phi equals to zero where phi is an impossible event so uh, phi is an impossible event for its example uh, let's say uh, let's uh, let's say we are tossing a uh, uh, tossing a uh, tossing a coin uh, tossing a coin a coin where our uh, where our events where our possible outcomes are either head or tail uh, either head either head or tail what the head or tail but if we but if we were calculating the uh, calculating the probability of uh, probability of uh, probability of neither head nor uh, nor tail it will simply be it will it will simply be zero because when it, when and because when and queen is uh, tossed the event is either head or tail uh, either head or tail is uh, sure to occur so probability of not not occurring head nor tail is zero next we have uh, if pa denotes the probability of occurrence of event a then probability of non occurrence of event a is denoted as pa bar or pa complement and pa bar e and pa bar equals to pa complement is equal to simply 1 minus pa is simply equal to 1 minus pa next we have simple probability so what is simple probability is probability associated with only one event is called as simple uh, is, is called as a simple probability uh, so uh, so for its example of simple probability let's say if we are if if we are carrying out a random experiment of uh, tossing a coin the probability of occurrence of head o occurrence of head is a simple probability because we are because we are dealing with because we are dealing with only one event of uh, occurrence of head so next we have compound probability probability associated with two or more event is called as compound probability so uh, so for its example if we, if we were tossing a coin and the probability of occurrence of uh, occurrence of either head or tail in this case we are dealing with two events which is occurrence of either head or or tail uh, or tail so it is an example of compound probability 
next we have is next uh, next we have is, is important part this seven number is uh, is is quite important for while solving while solving our problems so note your you know your probability so so if we had to calculate the probability of occurrence of both events a and b it is denoted by p a a in a intersection b next we have probability of occurrence of either event a or b or at least one of the two events a or b and it, and it is denoted by p a union b next we have probability of occurrence of a only without b it is denoted by p a union b bar or simply p a minus b similarly uh, we have the probability of occurrence of b only without a it is denoted by p uh, a bar union b or p uh, or p b minus a both these are both these are similar next we have probability of occurrence of neither a nor b in this case both the events a and b are not occurring so we have uh, so this is denoted by p a union b uh, a union b complement so, so as you can see here the probability of occurrence of either uh, event a or b a or b is denoted by p a union b then it's opposite then its complement gives the probability of occurrence of neither a nor b or it is or it is also uh, denoted as p a bar union b bar next we have probability of occurrence of exactly of one of the two events a and b it, it is denoted by p a minus b union b minus a or p a union b bar union uh, union a bar union b union b so after this uh, so this is our denotion uh, denotion por portion of various probability now we will be talking about mutually exclusive events mutually exclusive events so this uh, so this is also an important part of probability so what are uh, mutually exclusive events it is to be mutually exclusive if the occurrence of one guarantees the non occurrence of uh, non non occurrence of another event so simply if there are uh, so so let's say there are two events a and b uh, a and b both these uh, both these events a and b are said to be uh, mutually exclusive if event uh, if event uh, in, in such a scenario that if event a occurs then event b must not occur and if event b occurs then event a must not occur so for example in tossing of a coin tossing of a coin head and tail are mutually exclusive events because if a head occurs tail is not occurring at any cost and if and if tail occurs it is not occurring at any cost now uh, now we'll be talking uh, now we'll be talking the notes of uh, notes of um, notes of mutually exclusive events so uh, so our for so firstly if we had to plot a uh, mutually exclusive in venn diagram uh, venn diagram it will be plotted as this this is event a and this is event b since both event a and b cannot occur so the intersection portion so the intersection portion a intersection b is not uh, is not given it is uh, zero so uh, so they are denoted as disjoint sets so uh, so in this way so so in this way we will be showing uh, mutually exclusive events in venn diagram next we have if two events a and b are uh, mutually exclusive then p a intersection b equals to p phi equals to 0 so what is the meaning of this is uh, the occurrence of both events a inter a uh, so p so here p a intersection b means occurrence of uh, occurrence uh, it means the occurrence of both events uh, a and b so as we talked in our previous uh, previous paper P A intersection B means probability of occurrence of both events A and B. Since they are mutually exclusive, both the events A and B are not occurring at uh, occurring at any case. So it is an impossible. Uh, so it is an impossible event. So P phi equals to zero. So uh, so P phi equals to zero. Next is P A inter A union B, which means the occurrence of uh, occurrence of event uh, occurrence of either event A or B. So P A union B equals to P A plus P B. So P A union B equals to N A union B divided by n n sigma it is n a plus n b divided by n sigma uh, and uh, as you can see here n a union b means n a plus n b no uh, no un, uh, no inter intersection in, no intersection portion so n a plus n b divided by n omega now we, we divide it now we uh, now we uh, now uh, now we are just simply uh, dividing it into fractions we, now we get n a divided by n omega means probability of occurrence of event a and n b divided by n, uh, n omega means probability of occurrence of uh, probability of occurrence of event b next we have if events a and a bar are mutually exclusive their union gives us sample space their union gives us sample space so if a and a bar are samples uh, are mutually exclusive then a union a bar equals to equals to equals to omega which is our uh, which is our uh, which is our sample space so uh, which is our uh, sample space so simply the sample space is uh, given by the union of uh, occurrence of uh, occurrence of event and non occurrence of an non occurrence of uh, non occurrence of an of an event uh, uh, event a so if i had to give an uh, so if i had to explain it by an uh, so if i had to explain it by an example so so while tossing a uh, while tossing a coin we have while tossing uh, so let's say while tossing a coin we have our sample space of head or tail 
head or uh, head or tail and if a and if a denotes the event of occurring of uh, occurring of uh, occurring of head and a bar which means uh, denotes the occurrence of not or no and a bar denotes the occurrence of not occurring of head which means the occurrence of tail the union of uh, the union of head and tail the union of head and tail will give us our sample space of h of head comma tail so simply uh, so uh, so simply the uh, so so simply uh, when we have two mutually exclusive events the occurrence or uh, the union of uh, the the union of both these events will give us uh, will give us our sample space so next we have now uh, now the probability of occurrence uh, probability of occurrence of either a or a bar equals to probability of occurrence of our of, of, of our sample space uh, p omega and as you know the probability of our occurrence of sample space is always one next uh, probability of, of occurrence of a union a bar is p a plus p a bar this is the same logic as this one p a union b equals to p a plus p b same logic applied uh, applied here uh, applied here uh, because uh, applied here so p a plus p a bar equals to 1 so we get p a bar equals to 1 minus p a 1 minus p a next we have events a minus b and a union b are mutually exclusive these two events are mutually ex exclusive you can uh, these events are uh, these events are mutually ex exclusive so let me draw the state diagram So this is our a minus b portion, and this is our a uh, a inter intersection b portion. As you can see here, both these events do not uh, both this uh, there is no any common portion or there is no any uh, in intersection between intersection between these two portions. So a minus b and a intersection b are always mutually exclusive, and the union and the union of this uh, event will give us a. So as you can see here, this portion and this portion union of this portion will uh, will give us the total a. Will give us our total a. So this will give us a uh, total a. So taking the uh, so uh, so our probability of occurrence of either uh, a minus b or a or a intersection b equals to p a. So now now to open this, we'll get p a minus b plus p a intersection b. Same logic as same logic as here and same logic as here. We get p a and p a minus b equals to p a minus p a intersection b. So now we have explained mutually exclusive events as well. Additional law of additional law of uh, additional law of probability. So what does additional law of probability states? Additional law of probability states that let a and b be any two defined uh, let a and b be let a and b be any two events defined on the same defined on the same sample space. Then the additional law of probability states that p a union b equals to p a plus p b minus p a intersection b. So what does uh, so what uh, so using the additional law of probability we can find the occurrence of uh, occurrence of uh, occurrence of either event a or b or occurrence of at least one of the one of those two events. But but uh, but in order to apply additional law of probability, uh, both these events a and b must be on the must be on the same uh, must be on the same sample space. So using this formula p a union b equals to p a plus p b minus p a intersection b, we can find the occurrence of uh, occurrence of either a or b or occurrence of at least one of the uh, one of the two events so this is basically what additional law of probability states next we'll be proving the next we'll be, next we'll be uh, proving this statement so uh, so in order to prove this uh, proof this uh, proof this statement we'll be taking we'll, we will be taking two events a minus b a minus b and a minus b and b so as you can see from this uh, Venn diagram this is a minus b this is our a minus b and this is our b this is our b and as you can see there is no any common portion between uh, both these events a minus uh, a, a minus b and b so both of these events are mutually exclusive uh, mutually exclusive events and the union of this will give us our total uh, give us our total total a union b portion will give us our total a union b portion so we have so we have basically uh, written the same thing a minus b union b equals to a union b equals to a union b now taking the pro now uh, now for the probability probability of a minus b union b equals to probability of a union b now now since both these events are mutually uh, are mutually exclusive uh, are so since these events both these events are mutually exclusive we'll be opening them as p a minus b union p union b equals to p a minus b plus p b we'll be opening them in this way like we uh, like we opened other uh, like we opened previously and p a union b simply equals to p a minus b plus p b next p a, p a union b equals to p a minus p a intersection b plus p b since we already uh, since we already so showed how p a minus b equals to p a minus p a intersection uh, p p a minus b equals to p a minus p intersection b so as, as you showed over here 
simply we have simply we have applied uh, this over here p a minus b equals to p a minus p a intersection b so simply p uh, p a union b equals to p a plus p b minus p a intersection b so 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 in this way we have shown how p a uh, p a union b equals to p a plus p b minus p a and a and a intersection b so this is additional law of probability next we'll be talking about independent events so what are independent events two events a and b are said to be independent events if the probability of occurrence of one is not affected by occur occurrence or non occurrence of of another event and for and for independent events p a inter intersection b equals to p a into p b so for our independent events Will be calculated. now for the example of independent events let's say there are two boxes and this boxes contains uh, three balls and this box contains four balls four balls if uh, three balls uh, three three balls uh, three uh, three balls out of these three balls there are one white and two black and in this uh, out of four balls there are two black and two white so if i uh, so if i uh, so if i am uh, so if i am taking out a ball or uh, taking out a ball there is a certain probability there is a certain probability or there is a 1 by 3 probability that it is a white ball and in this case there is a 2 by 4 probability that it is a white ball which is 1 by 2 but uh, but the probability the probability of uh, withdrawing a white ball will not uh, will not affect the will not affect the probability of withdrawing white ball from this box so as you can see probability of withdrawing any ball white or black will not uh, will not affect the occurrence uh, will not affect the outcome or result of this box so in this case probability of withdrawing of white ball from this box and probability of withdrawing white ball from this uh, from this second box are independent events because the occurrence of either one of these events will not be affecting the will not affecting the other event so this is a simple example of independent independent events next will be uh, next will be solving the problem related with uh, independent events and applying the additional law of uh, ad ad additional law of probability so now we'll be doing uh, doing a question of probability to make the concepts even clearer so as we have our first qu first question the probability that a boy will get scholarship is uh, 0 0.75 and that a girl will get independent of boy is 0 0.72 what is the probability that at least one of them will get scholarship so as you can see here the probability that at least one of them will get scholarship so as i explained in the my uh, explained in the earlier part of the video at least one of them means we need to find the we need to, what it's asking is a union b so this is what our question is asking us when it says at least one of them which means we need a or b either a or b which means p a union b so this is this is what our question is uh, so this is what our question is asking us now we'll be uh, now we'll be now we'll be solving now we'll be uh, now we'll be solving this so firstly uh, firstly we'll be uh, firstly uh, so to begin we'll be writing this as solution let So this portion is very uh, so we need to we need to write so this is our way of opposing this question let b be event of getting scholarship by boy and let g be g be event of getting scholarship by goal then from our question we what we can see is probability of probability of uh, probability that a boy will get scholarship is 0 0.75 is 0 0.75 is uh, is 0. Point, uh, is is uh, 0. Point, uh, is 0. Point, uh, 0.75 and probability that the goal will get scholarship is 0. 0.72 so is uh, is uh, zero point seven two. Now what my question is asking me is probability. Find the probability that at least one of them. Probability that at least one of them will get scholarship. So this means P A or B, no, not P A or B. Sorry, P B or G. P, uh, B or uh, P, B or G, which means which simply means union. Either boy or girl. At least means either boy or girl. So this is P B plus P G minus P B intersection minus P intersection uh, P intersection G. So as we go over here, this is zero point seven five 
plus 0.72 minus now p b intersection g is p p into p g so for uh, so for our case of independent uh, so so uh, so as you can uh, so as you can see over here the both the events b and g are independent events b and g are b and g are independent events and what does independent events means In independent event means is probability of occurrence of uh, probability of occurrence of event b will not affect uh, will not affect the occurrence of uh, occurrence of uh, occurrence of event g which means the which means that the probability of which means the event of getting scholarship by a boy will not affect the uh, yeah, pro affect the event of getting scholarship by a girl and um, scholarship by a girl or the event of getting scholarship by a girl will not uh, by a, by a girl will not affect the event of getting scholarship by a by a by a go by a boy such such events which, which do not which uh, do not depend upon each other are called as independent uh, in the independent events and for independent G, uh, events p b in, uh, b intersection g equals to p b into p g now we go 0 0.75 plus 0 0.72 minus 0 0.75 into 0. Point, uh, 0.72 on solving this what we get is p equals to 0.93 so the probability of getting a uh, uh, probability that at least one of them at least a boy or girl will get scholarship is 0.93 video help and for the also of this video help and for the pdf notes of this um and for the pdf notes you can find it on my instagram channel if you have any queries if you have any queries comment uh, comment down below and if this video was of any help to you do subscribe the do subscribe the ch uh, channel uh, and follow the and, and do follow the playlist of uh, probability to uh, probability to get more clearer concepts in next video we'll be, we, we will be solving many questions related to pro uh, related to probability uh, thank you